is all that politics news debate and opinion from the heart of Westminster. Well, UKIP, the UK Independence Party, is going to unveil its election manifesto this morning, and I'm joined by its interim leader, uh, Pat Mountain. Uh, welcome to you. Uh, what does interim leader mean? It means that I'm in post until for 90 days, 31st of January 2020. And what happens then? Well, hopefully we'll have a new leader, that special person that we're searching for. Are you, are you going to run for that? Uh, not? It's not in the plan, though, not for me. Right. Now, tell us about UKIP in this election. Uh, how many candidates are you putting up? Well, we're putting up 44 in very carefully chosen seats because we don't want to do any damage to any actual Brexiter. You know, um, Brexit's important and we don't want to do anything to damage that. So those seats, what, are all Labour held or Liberal Democrat held? It's a mix. It's a mix. And we have appointed a national uh, campaign manager, uh, Freddie Varsha, and he has spent a lot of time analysing the whole situation so that we do not damage Brexit. So you are running against some Conservative candidates? Yes, we are, but nothing, you know, not, who, the, who, not who, the true Brexit. Who have you, you picked out to run against? Well, I can't divulge. I cannot say. Freddie Varsha... Well, it's on a record where, where you're running yes, candidates. Yes, it is. It's on our website, www. Yeah, so what, what, which ones are there? I mean, you might you presumably know. I, I don't know all 44, I'm afraid. No, but uh, tell us some key targets. Well, our key targets, well, I really don't know that either, I'm afraid, because it's all been left to Freddie. I've been so busy as the interim leader, I, my time has been taken up with lots of other stuff. But presumably you are running against uh, not just some Conservatives, but also some Brexit Party uh, candidates, is that right? It depends um, on the situation, the analysis of the seat. So we do not want to stand against anyone, any true Brexiteer. We want to make sure... That we are not, you know, we don't damage that. Yeah, but if if you're running against Labour candidates, uh, those are areas where Brexit, the Brexit Party is standing. They've got over 300 candidates, so UKIP will be running against Brexit we have candidates. Got some. Yeah, we have got some. Yeah. Yes. And what and what is the difference between UKIP and the Brexit Party? Well, the, if we look at the Brexit Party, you know, I don't know that it's going to be there forever. You know, UKIP is we've been here forever and we're going to still be, you know, we're staying. But if you look at the Brexit Party, you know, after Brexit, what do they actually stand for? Well, you know, you, know, you, could, you, they... you, you could even say, what does UKIP stand for? Because uh, after Brexit, uh, we will have left, uh, we will have saved the pound and well, all the rest of it. i just show you this. This is our 2019 manifesto for Brexit and beyond. Right, and what tell us about the beyond. What else do you want to do? Well, OK, let's have a look at um, our immigration policy. I can't say too much about this because the launch isn't until later on today. But I'd just like to read this to you. This is one of our key things. Asylum will not be granted to migrants who have entered the UK illegally from a safe country, uh, such as France, Belgium or Ireland. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what we've got to look at. Mass immigration... Well, actually, that's the existing policy. So well, that's the existing government policy. I mean, there's nothing new. Well, there. I don't know because if we well, have. Well, it is. Yes, but we want to. That's the definition of asylum. You have to come from a dangerous place into the. Yes, into, but, into but France, country. Belgium, and Ireland are not dangerous places. No, so... but, but you don't, if, you, if you've been to France under, under EU law, actually, you have to uh, ask for asylum in France before you can ask for asylum in the UK. But that that's that's the Dublin Convention. Yeah, so but it doesn't there's nothing take new them, in that. Well, it doesn't take them uh, long to get in. A, they don't want to stay in France. They want to come to the UK. And we just can't... Who are you talking about? Who's they? The immigrants. If we're talking about... Well, where, where are they coming from? Well, everywhere, all over the world. Eritrea, Syria, you know... And what, what sort of numbers are we talking about? Like, well, how do we know the true numbers that are already here? Well, we know who applies for asylum, don't we? Well, we can't have... You know, we just cannot have these people coming from... Right, if you are... No, but what I'm saying is you've got a policy on asylum there. Yes. Uh, what? How many people apply for asylum now and what difference would your policy make, in your view? Well, when somebody lands on the beach in Dover or wherever mm -hmm. they're landing, they say now, uh, we're seeking asylum. And they're in here and all the rest of it. But we we can't keep them here, Adam. We can't. But this, I mean, how many can this people, can this country sustain? Yeah, but how many people do we grant asylum to every year in this country? I don't know the figures. I really Very I few have to is admit, the Well, what do we do with all these people that arrive? Well, most of them are, are actually being detained. 
or do, do they're disappearing you, into the black economy. Well, they are but, disappearing. But, into, but what do you think then we should do? Well, I'm not. I'm not running for office um, now. Uh, are you a candidate, by the way? No, you're not. But okay. Um, is is UKIP a racist party? No, we're not a racist party. You're not? No. I mean, UKIP is a party for all Brits. All Brits, no matter yeah. the colour, the religion, right. the belief system. Yeah. You know, if you believe in the nation and yeah. this country, you love this country, you should come and join UKIP. And we would welcome you with open Yeah, arms. you've got 40 candidates. Do you have any um, black candidates? No, we haven't got any. Well, we have got... Um, you must think I'm dreadful that I don't know this, but uh, we do have, um, I think he's Indian. I think we have, so sorry, I don't know the detail. I should have familiarised myself. Well you, well, you think you've got one Asian or something? Yes, yeah. Right. And um, what do you think of uh, Tommy Robinson? Are you close to Tommy Robinson or not? I thought you'd ask me about Tommy Robinson. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there are some people in the party who uh, are sympathetic with the predicament that Tommy Robinson is in. But... Unlike other parties, you know, because of his association with other racist parties, well, not other racist, but racist parties, our constitution clearly says that he cannot be permitted to join us. And in actual fact, I don't think he wants to join UKIP anymore. He stood against us. He was an advisor at one stage. Is he still an advisor? <clears throat> he was an advisor, a personal advisor to Gerard Button. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think he's knocking. He's not knocking at our door anymore. He stood against us in the European elections, and he's actually knocking at Boris Johnson's door. So uh, yeah. it's up to the Tories whether they let him in there. So what's uh, your target uh, for this election? Well, you know we are realists, and uh, we know that we're not going to be <laughs> entering ten, ten Downing Street anytime soon. But we are sending a message that we're still here. To all the people that are really let down, feel betrayed by the uh, politicians, by the government. That's our message. We're still here. And you don't believe Boris Johnson's deal is Brexit? No, it is definitely not Brexit. Warmed up, Theresa May Brexit. I mean, they've given us three prime ministers. You know, you talk about how many leaders we've had, but they've given us three prime ministers and none of them have been oh. able to deliver or even... So why, why isn't it Brexit? Well, they've left behind, you know, what about the Northern Ireland thing? We do not want to be part of the EU, we want a clean break, a clean yeah, break. Well, that's what, that's what his deal would do. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, what do you object to? Well, I object to most of it. Uh, being under the jurisdiction of the um, European Courts of Justice is the main thing. Open borders, we don't want that. Well, neither, none of those are included, actually, in uh, the Brexit deal as it now stands, which you're rejecting. We don't, we don't believe that that is a clean Brexit. Okay. We, we do not want to trade um, under European laws. We don't. We don't want to be part of Europe at all. Yeah, it's not Europe, the EU. Okay. Thank you very much, Lee. Pat Fountain, the interim leader of uh, UKIP there, they're launching this morning. Thank you, Ed. Uh, this is All Out Politics coming up next.